हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब लर्निंग चैनल एक्यूरेट ए एस एम ई आई एस ओ इन द लास्ट वीडियो द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक कॉन्सेंट्रिसिटी मेजरमेंट वॉज एड्रेस एंड एप्रिसिएटेड ए लॉट बाय द ऑडियंस द नेक्स्ट मोस्ट चैलेंज मेजरमेंट ऑन सी एम एम इज मेजरिंग स्मॉल सेक्टर और आर्क of a circle diameter in fact incomplete geometry measurement is always shown poor repeatability and accuracy this video will help you understand the causes of the uncertainty and find the practical solutions please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share so let us begin now analyze the problem with the sketches the black color circle is a nominal specified diameter the actual manufacture circle is shown in the gray color circle suppose this circle is measured with three points at 120 degrees as shown covering the entire surface with equally distribution of the points the constructed circle passing through three measured points is sketched with red colored dashed line now suppose that the surface area for probing available is very short as a sector angle 30 degrees approximately in this condition if we measure points on actual manufactured circle which is a sector the constructed circle is shown in blue dashed line it clearly indicate the difference between two constructed circles when the area r available is 360 degrees and when it is less than 30 degrees the output of diameter and center point and their locations drastically seen change in this slide extract from the npl uk good practice guide number 41 is taken partial features and partial arcs such features can be more difficult to measure than the full features because of the incomplete area of the surface error can occur when trying the best fit circle from the coordinate data suppose the length of an arc is half thus the subtended angle also get half and uncertainty of measurement increases by a factor of 4 this observes when sector is less than 80 degrees the significance of this result can be seen by applying it to an arc subtending for example 80 degrees and then one subtending say 5 degrees the uncertainty in the radius determined for the latter case is greater than that for the former by a factor of over 250 in such extreme circumstances it must be questioned whether the above circle parameters are appropriate for an actual measuring task the calculation of small portion of circular feature is possible but the result are challenge for reliability and meaning result of such measurement of small arc segment difficult to be trusted Occam organization in germany also make the same statement of the measuring problem of small arc even it is demonstrated that in the small sector increasing number of points also could not help out the uncertainty of the radius or diameter calculation is greatly dependent on the segment angle and less dependent on the number of measuring point 
The plotted graph is of uncertainty of measurement versus the angle of segment and number of probing points. The graph shows that up to 80 degrees of segment measuring uncertainty is very high. Even increase of measuring point does not change the results. This clearly concludes that scanning of the segment do not add much value. A sample calculation is done to demonstrate how mathematically diameter is computed. In the given example, two conditions are applied. In the first condition, with the given three measured point, a diameter is calculated and diameter output is 625000 millimeter. In the second case, a center point is offset just by 1 micrometer and recomputation of the diameter is 5000000 millimeter. The difference is very much clear of 1 to 5 0, 0, 0 millimeter. If calculations with mathematical formulas is difficult to verify, then anyone can exercise in a CAD software. Construct a circle with three points on a small given sector of radius of 50 mm. Again construct a circle just by changing two end vertical coordinates just by 3 microns. You will find that the difference in values changed a lot just because of 3 micrometer values are changed. The real-time designing in a CAD will certainly increase the confidence that measuring the small sectors and their calculations are really challenges when we do measure and calculate on three coordinate measuring machine. For such challenges, the solution is suggested in the NPL guide. To determine the radius and center of partial arc to within a small uncertainty might require an accuracy of coordinate measurement that is not readily available. It is often better to fit a circle equal to the nominal radius given in the drawing and then look at the deviations of form. A design specification in terms of radius can be regarded as unreasonable. A specification that required the form deviation to meet a certain tolerance would be much more reasonable. Determining the measurement of the arc in this sense is simpler with a better approach. Similar modified approach is seen in the standard ASME Y14.5 2018 version compared to the standard of 2009 version. In a new version, radius dimension is given as a basic dimension. Also the location of the center of radius given as basic dimension. It means that the controlling characteristics of the radius is a profile of a line. In short, the measurement done of a radius and variation doesn't give the accept or reject criteria, but the profile of a line would be a output for acceptance or rejection of the part. Even before the ASME Y14.5 2018, traditionally people were using the constraint diameter methodology. This feature in any of the CMM software requested theoretical diameter with a given fixed location 
and taking this as a reference for the deviation of the form. This is measured with probing the polar points on the radius. Nowadays, the deviations against a nominal data or CAD data is used a normal and regular practice. There are many examples of the drawing specifications shown in the standard ASME Y14.5-2018. In this drawing, radius dimension is given as a basic dimension. Also, the location of the center of radius given as a basic dimension. It means that the controlling characteristic of the radius is again profile of a line within 0.2 mm as a tolerance with reference to the datum A. It is one more practical example given in the standard. The given drawing is of a caliper of a brake rotor system of a automobile. In this drawing, a profile of a surface is controlled. Basic dimensions given are radius, z dimension and y dimension. This is completely in line according to the international standard ASME Y14.5 2018. In the next slide, significance of the given radius in the assembly and the function is described, which will help us to understand the importance of the profile form than merely just measuring a radius value. These are photographs of a braking system of a car. The virtual radius center in the drawing shown in the last slide is the center of the rotor disc. This center would expect to match when the caliper and rotor assembly is done. The function of the rotor caliper assembly explained here why the form of the radius surface is important from a fixed location that is center of the rotor disc than the value of the radius only. The caliper must be positioned such that there is at least 2.5 mm of clearance between the outside diameter of the brake rotor and the inside of the caliper bridge. While in run, the hot brake rotor can expand in diameter by up to 2.0 mm. Hence, the minimum specified clearance must be maintained to prevent the brake rotor rubbing. It is another example charger of engine. Very small radius sector measuring is a great challenge. From the design specification point of view, it is even not reasonable as suggested previously. Here the significance is only the form and location of the profile surface from the fixed distance. In the next slide, let us see the real function in the video.
hope that you liked this video and I am sure you will subscribe the channel and share it to the others. For training inquiry, please find contact details as given. Thank you very much friends. Bye by the time next video. video. If you design cone angle and their tolerances, if you design the other part, ball, their dimension and their tolerances, and finally when you assemble it, what would be the challenge of making the clearances? This is how the problem is.